Hey, Moy. Hey, Rachel. Hey, Allie. Hey, everybody. This is my presentation today because, I don't know, like, it's been 1,380 days since I started college. I know for sure because, like, I was the, the July 30th start date at CIA, so I know exactly when I started, which is kind of neat. But, um, and this is my last day of classes, which is kind of really weirding me out right now. Like, I'm going to go to class today at 1.25 in my second class, and at 2.40 when that class ends, that's it. She's going to be like, bye, have fun, blah, 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 and I'm going to be like, this is my last time sitting in a class ever. That's it. I am done. Boom. Gone. And I got my Starbucks today, and they finally spelled my name right. A lot of times I write down Rihanna, like the singer, instead of Brianna. I don't know how they get Rihanna from Brianna, because they do sound very different, and that's kind of a weird leap. I think Brianna is the much more common name, but I'm rambling, um, because it's weird. So, I had to go away to not ramble this one, because I knew if I just, like, I read one video and I was just literally rambling for like three minutes about, oh my gosh, college weird, and I'm sure you're all very sick of hearing me talk about, oh my gosh, college weird. So I decided to make it a bit more structured with, welcome to America, a PowerPoint presentation. This presentation is going to be extremely useful because throughout this, we're going to talk about like, we have planned for you in America, and we still have yet to plan. It's going to be really, really fun. I hope this will be both slightly educational and mostly fun for both you, Masa, Rachel, and Bridget. Because this is the plan, hopefully, and we're going to do with the plan. And, yeah, very, very exciting. So, with more further ado, you're going to Ithaca. So, yeah, Ithaca. Fun fact, there's only one Ithaca in the entire U.S., and I'm in it, unlike other towns, like, there are other Warrens and Camdens and stuff. But there's one Ithaca, and that's where you're going to be. It's a little, kind of a little tiny town, really. Um, it's kind of like you have Cornell, and that's kind of its own little town. Then you have Ithaca. They say they're the same thing, but really, if Ithaca disappeared and all you had left was Cornell, we'd be fine. Like, we have a bowling alley, and we have an ice skating rink, and we have a grocery store, and we have a police department, like... Yeah, Cornell's kind of a self singing entity, but Ithaca's cool too. It's kind of it's a very hippie little town. Um, it, it, you'll see down in the upper right corner the whole Ithaca is gorgeous thing because we have these giant gorges. And if you the, the right, the right lower left hand corner, there are all these like pretty little walking trails and gorgeous little places. And like you'll see them when we walk to from to from all different places. You can like go all these little bridges and all these like beautiful rock waterfalls and everything everywhere. Um, it gave a, a bit of a morbid fact is that students used to be very stressed out because Cornell is still the most stressed out school in the U.S. Um, but so we would call this suicide school for a little while there because people would jump into the gorges. But one had kind of to that. And now those phones and nets. So you'll be fine. At the top left hand corner, that's my school. School of Hotel Administration. Hotelies. So that's where we're going to spend most of the time we are all here. And yeah, it should be really fun. I'm excited. We have a... We don't have a um, so Wednesday you all get here. And I'm going to get you at the airport. And it's a little tiny airport. Um, so me and I were talking today about you guys flying out. And mom was like, oh, you should get there at like 3.30 4 in the morning. Because you guys fly out at 6.30. This is the tiniest airport you may ever be in. Keep that in mind. There are three planes. And they go to three places. So... You'll see when you get here, and we can plan the time you leave then, but don't overthink it. It's a very tiny little airport. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be easy. So that's all we got. You guys get here late Wednesday night, sign up mom and dad. You are all arriving on the same day, and we're staying at the Harbor Hotel in Watkins Glen. It's a really cute little hotel. I think you'll really like it a lot. Um, I'm going to say 45 minutes away, but it's, it's fine. It's, just, <laughs> it's a really, really pretty hotel, and there's a cute little cider bar right near it, and it has good breakfast, which we'll get into later on. But anyway. So yeah, we'll see us at Pub Hotel. Thursday, there's not much planned Friday or Thursday yet. Um, we do have a reservation for 8 p.m. karaoke at K House in Ithaca. We can change that, but like, it should be fun. Um, I chose that karaoke house just because because it's 
owned by uh, some hotelies that are Asian. Um, they have a, like an insane selection. They are oldies. They are new songs. They're Justin Bieber, Foy Trinelli, the songs that I know, the songs that Putney knows, and the, those Japanese songs. You can type in Japanese and you can follow different songs. I know my one friend is Chinese, but anyway. But she told, she wrote songs in Japanese and sang them. So it's really fun. It's it's something that Mo, me and mom both did while we were in Japan. Now you can do it in America. So that's kind of cool. Um, Friday again, there's nothing. We can do Guardians of the Galaxies. Um, I have all different things later on. And Saturday and Sunday are the most like the formal things. Saturday is the convocation, which means Joe Biden talks to us. So we'll do that. Um, we'll get there pretty early because there's going to be a big line to see Biden. Um, so that's kind of like the little formal. I sit with you guys in the football stadium. Then 5.45, we have dinner at restaurant where I walk. Um, it's going be cool. It's like a full course, but like it's not a really fancy thing. Like it's it's an Italian restaurant. You can't really do fine dining Italian. I think it'll be really comfortable for everyone. I think it'll be really fun and good. And the food's really, really yummy. So it'll be fun. Um, but the first course, it is, it is an option between um, tomatoes and and watermelon salad, and mozzarella, and prosciutto, you just get to get the cheese. And I'm going to ask you to get the mozzarella tomatoes. It's going to be beautiful and super fun. <laughs> Sunday is graduation, so we're going to get there at 8 a.m., and, like, I walk through this big procession thing. I'll be in my outfit, and it'll be emotional, and it's really all we have planned. Again, there's a lot more things to do, and then Monday you leave, which is lame. A lot of things we can do. So Wednesday... Yeah, this is just like all things we have left to plan. One thing we can do Saturdays is stop and get food. Because that's going to be fun. So. so, yeah, lunch and dinner. So, I know when you said um, you wanted pizza and you want Chinese food. So, a bunch of different options. So, if you want American bad Chinese food, we have Hai Hong and Apollo. Again, they're fine. We can order them, we can take out. Um, they're pretty good. If you want good, good pizza, the Nines has, like, killer pizza. I love the Nines pizza. That's, like, literally, like, right next to my house, and it's really, really good pizza. But I'm not sure how classic American it is. It's deep-dished. It's squared. One piece is ginormous. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a kind of a hippie little bar place. But it's really, really yummy pizza. So those are those two places for what you wanted. And from the top, there's, like, cult cultivares, which sounds fancy, but it's just, like, it's local community colleges restaurants they, that they did. So it's just, it's just it's pretty good food for a pretty cheap price. Um, Saigon Kitchen is like the best Asian food ever. It has amazing pho. Oishi Bowl is Japanese food. Um, really right near my house. Super quick and easy. If you want to get that for lunch or something, that's an option. I, want, I actually really want to know if it's authentic or not because I don't know. The Dairy Bar is this ice cream bar we have on campus. It's super, super yummy. Um, they're actually really excited to give Joe Biden some of it because of his whole ice cream thing. Zaza's is this Italian restaurant, which is good. A um, bit more upscale, but yummy and might be something mom and dad would like. Um, the hotel school, in addition to the restaurant that I walk at, on, which is inside my building, there's also like it, two fast casual places like um, Max Cafe and um, Regent Lounge and, oh, and Terrace. So it's all, it's all really quick, easy food like quesadillas and stuff. And Again, good lunches, yummy. I mean, it's, it's a, it's a salad and there's everything you really need in life. Jack's is really good. Burgers, it's not really a sit not, not a base at all. You literally just you order it and you buy it and you walk out. It's not a takeout place. But they have good yummy hamburgers, which I think could be a good while you're in, in America. Wings of Ithaca has good wings. Calios has calzones. Like they're very self so plain self explaining <laughs> restaurants. But Calios is really yummy. They're open till four AM, so we can get Calios pretty much any time. <laughs> Um, waffle Frolic is good. Those waffles. We also have a Denny's. We have Taco Bell. We have a, all the places you can want. Currently, McDonald's has this really, really, really awesome pico guacamole burger. So that is an option. This thing, McD's, because pico, pico. Oh, actually, oh, I have a touch screen. This is great. Pico. So yeah. That's an option. Um, breakfast. I don't like plain breakfast. Like, uh, Masa, do you like breakfast? I have no idea. The place, the hotel, has good breakfasts. Um, they have this really good corned beef hash. We've stayed there before me and mom and dad, so. I think, not really gonna plan that. I don't think we really need to. And if, we can always go to Denny's. If you really want to get a different breakfast. 
um, stuff to do. So we have the gorges. There's a cider barn right near the house. It's like a there's like wine cider, and they have a really good beet salad at that little bar. So that can be fun. We have to see Guardians of the Galaxies. We have to because I was invited to see it last night. I didn't go because you told me that we could see it. So if you see it without me, I will never forgive you. <laughs> like ever, I'll kill you. Wineries, we're gonna be. We have two days to do nothing. So. We're making the thought the first day, Thursday, day. We'll do all the stuff you want to do. We'll get your food, we'll get shopping, we'll get your food at Wegmans, like with all the different things. And the thing on Friday, like, we're not doing anything. Why are you so really fun when you're older? Mom and dad like them, I like them. You I bet you and Master would like them. So we'll whiten you them anyway. That's an option. Um, we have the common, which is like Ithaca Short Street, which should be really fun. We could go bar hopping. There's a bunch of bars. We have this level but it's like a dance club kind of thing. It's kinda of fun. They have Really good hurricanes. I don't know if they're really good, but they're alcoholic and yummy. I thought. Um, so that's right near where I live. We have thrift shops. Um, this place called Plato's Closet has like the most amazing thrift clothes ever. That could be part of our shopping on Thursday. We can play cards and just like mad chill and like talk to Masa and like talk to you and just kind of relax. We could play drinking games. I love drinking games. Let's get like wasted. The dining cruises, if you want to do that. Um, we can get Manny's and Petty's with Masa. We can go swimming. We can go bowling. And then Wegmans is an option because you know you want to get your food while you're here. Wegmans is great food. Um, great, it's a million different options. I don't know if you really need options because, like, you're here for American food. So we could always go to PC Fresh or all the little Aldi's on the cheap little bulk places. Are also, um, so yeah, it's really kind of all I have. Like, you're all going to be here in two weeks. And we really don't have to plan it that closely. But if you have, if you can. But if you know some of the options, it might be easier. So that's why the point of this presentation. Um, just so you can see some of the things we can do. You can Google them. You can... Yeah. It'll be... I am I am very excited. <laughs> I hope you are as well. Um, so it'll be it'll be cool. And, I don't know. It'll just be kind of chill. It'll be my last time at Cornell. Because when you guys leave, I leave too. So, be very nostalgic. So, anyway. I uh, will... I'm going to go do my last day of school ever today. <laughs> I will see you all in two weeks. And bye.